got you good. No worries, just uh, hang in there for a second. There. Good news. Your armor kept you mostly in one piece. So, quick update. This isn't a simulation. We're really on a ginormous spaceship. And the ship's been taken over by... <laughs> now what are you two little gnats up to? This is to be mine. The first of me. Okay, time to get away from all these tentacles and prying eyes. This might feel a bit weird. Alrighty then. So, how do the humans put it? I've got some good news and some bad news. On the positive side, this colony ship is still operational. Rockwell hasn't completely taken over its control systems yet. The bad news is he's diligently working on doing just that. We need to head to the nearest uplink pad and interface with the ship's various subsystems. Through a virtualized representation of those control systems, we can challenge Rockwell's efforts. If we're able to do that to enough of the subsystems, then we might weaken him enough to confront Rockwell himself, or whatever's left of him, on the ship's main bridge. Yeah. It's a long shot, but if anyone can pull it off, it's you, Survivor. Well, let's get to it then, shall we? Well, 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 that is such an epic intro to a brand new epic series. Guys, welcome to the Genesis series. Genesis Part 2, to be precise. Um, let's, uh, let's try and get some stuff done. This feels so weird to spawn in with tech gear. I... It, it's so strange. It doesn't require element. Like, you can just use it and... A fall damage is not going to be a thing on this map at all. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, uh, brand new series. So show your support down below by dropping me a like. Um, this is going to be an awesome series. We're going to try our best to rid this. I was about to say this arc. This is not an arc. We're going to try our best to rid this lifeboat spaceship from that uh, that awful Rockwell um, pest that we have growing inside of it. Oh my god. This is... Like, obviously this isn't the first video I've made so far in the DLC, but I haven't actually, like, played survival just yet. Obviously, those videos that I made, I was just kind of checking st some stuff out. But, um, yeah, this feels really, really strange. Um, let me quickly just set up my character, because as you can see, nah. I am not Syntac. I am some strange man. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I completely forgot to mention this during the recording of this video, but we're going to have a giveaway going on on my Discord. The giveaway is for some Noglin and Dodo plushies. So if you want the chance to win one of these dudes, you can go ahead and check out the Discord link down below. Okay, there we go. Now we're Syntax. So, um, yeah, let's let's get to it. I don't even know what we should be starting with. I mean, like, this is the start of Ark, so we got to punch some trees and some stuff. That's a weird ass looking tree. So, um, yeah, of course, this will be a normal kind of vanilla-ish series. For the moment, I don't really have any mods on here. I have, like, the emote mod, and, and that's about it, pretty much, I think. I don't have S plus on here, but I will be adding that at some point. I kind of like to experience these DLCs completely vanilla, at least for a couple episodes, and then we'll go ahead and pop on the S plus stuff, because you know me, I love me some S plus. So, um, I, apparently we just have eight levels already, I, I guess from having the little, uh, buff that we got when we spawned in, so let's see, I mean, we're probably gonna have to, do we even need to be pumping weight right now? I can move around with the tech suit just fine without the weight. I, I think for the moment we could probably not do that, and let's pump a little bit of health here, actually. Let's try and get that up to 200. Um, so... Yeah, this is gonna be epic. Uh, I'm so excited for the series. Obviously, like, you know, this is the next step in the arc story, and uh, it's gonna be really interesting experiencing it all from the ground up like this. Uh, if you guys haven't already checked out the other videos that we have on Genesis Part 2, then go ahead and check those out after this one, because uh, there's some juicy stuff so far. Honestly, it just, everything that I've checked out so far just gets me so, oh, <laughs> it just gets me so hyped up for what's to come boom look at that you can do that straight away that is insane all right let's quickly just get some stuff learned here so let's go ahead and learn that and then i suppose we should probably maybe learn a water jar or water skin thingy and yeah let's 
That should be good for the moment. Although, actually, you know what? Let's get ourselves one of these two. All right. So let's quickly make up a hatchet and get into this. So first of all, I want to mention, this is, of course, hosted on G-Portal. If you haven't already got yourself a G-Portal server, then go ahead and grab one. Uh, obviously, right now, we've got 5% off using my code, so link down below for that. Anyway, um, and then also, actually, here's something else I should probably mention, because... <laughs> Oh my god. We have the Patriot cluster up and running right now. Um, of course, it has every single map besides the center. And uh, it's up and running with some mods and some stuff, but it's all, like, pretty well done. I mean, like, don't worry, we didn't add anything super crazy or anything like that. So uh, check that out if you're interested. Link down below. This is awesome. Just being able to, like, freaking fly around in the tax suit just straight away like this. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> we could go wherever we wherever we want. I mean like oh, this is awesome. All right. I know that we can probably go ahead and check out the little um the little missions pad thingy. Um I don't know where it is. I think there's a couple of them around. Also, what the hell is this thing supposed to be? I saw this before. I just don't exactly know. Oh. Federation starship. And it's been searching for a habitable world for generations. Just imagine how much effort it must have taken to gather all of this up and shoot it off into space. Yeah, that definitely would have taken a, a long ass time because like, look at this place. It's beautiful. And I mean, half of it is still beautiful, I suppose. This is really cool. Like whatever this is supposed to be. I mean, like you could kind of just like chill here and maybe like build a base on top or something like that. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. You know what? We can go down here and check. Oh, wait, no, it just. OK, wait, is this does this lead into the ocean? Oh, <gasps> no way. Should we go down? I mean, we can because we have the tech suit on. Let's go ahead and just see what's down here. I mean, I, I know it's an ocean, obviously, but there we go. We have a shark. Let's see, what level are you? Uh, level 72. Okay, let's gamma up just a little bit. This is ridiculously cool. So, um, this map has a full-on ocean, by the way, in case you missed that. It's, uh, at the bottom of the trench, but also, apparently, through this little chute right here. Uh, what's... What happens when I get to the top here? I kind of just want to explore a little bit today. I mean, I know we should get started with some you know, basic bits and bobs, but at the same time, like, oh my god, this is so cool. I actually haven't been down here just yet. Oh, what the hell is all that? Oh, dude, we got to check out all of this stuff. So, um, yeah, of course, uh, this map is gigantic. This map is said to be bigger than Ragnarok and Crystal Isles, and it's the biggest arc map as of yet. So, I mean, it's definitely living up to that for sure right now, because I haven't even explored, like, probably 10% of this. And I already feel like it's ginormous. So what what is this stuff here? Oh, we're tired. Okay, you know, that's fine, actually. We should be able to still uh, move around using the tech suit. It's kind of insane. You don't require element at all. Oh, I should probably not swim right into a shark's uh, mouth. Um, yeah, you don't require element at all. So, like, you can just move around as much as you want with this tech suit. It's ridiculously cool. I hate the way the bubbles are in my face right now. Um, maybe we should get out of here. It's kind of weird, though. Like, it's just... You don't even have, like, oxygen on this map. Fall damage won't be a thing. Provided that you keep this tech suit on, you should be completely fine. All right, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> how do I get out of here? Is that a way? That might be a way there, actually. Hang on. Oh, God, the bubbles in my face are so annoying. All right, this actually... No, that's probably not a way out. Okay, how the hell did I get in here? I think it was over here. This may have been a mistake. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have come down here at all. Uh, let's see. Is there a way out over here? What is with the bubbles, man? Why are they in my face in first person mode? All right, I think that right there might be a way out. It's so hard to show you though. Um, okay, so let's focus on getting out of this underground ocean thingy and uh, maybe we can actually get some stuff done. I sh really should have been taking advantage of the double XP from that Explorer note. All right, let's see. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that... Oh, it's a Baslo. Okay. I thought that was a... I don't know why I thought that was a Megalodon. I know it's not as big as a Megalodon. I just, for a second, I thought it was one. That is super annoying. That needs to change. Whatever that's... Whatever's happening there, it needs to not be like that. Um, this may be the way out of here, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, maybe? No. This is totally not the way out of here. Should I just die and respawn? Like, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> wait, hang on. Where am I? Okay, I'm, oh, I, okay, yeah, yeah, this is perfect. Whoa, that's a lot of creatures. Holy crap, okay, let's swim up, and this should be the bottom of the trench. Whoa, there we go, cool. Um, all right, so let me just gamma down then. So here we go, let's, uh, let's just get up here and grab some stamina back. <laughs> 
Oh, dude, like the fact that we actually spawn in with the tech suit is so cool. Like this map is going to be great. This series is going to be great. Um, all right, we should probably knuckle down and actually get some stuff done because I know quite a few of you are probably screaming at me right now to do some stuff. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and level into that. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get some stuff done. All right, so we need to make a spear. We need to try and make a campfire. And I... Wait, did I hack up that yellow? I did. Okay, cool. Let's... Uh, what is that over there? Is that a hyenodon? Really? Just one by itself? Is there like a whole pack hidden somewhere? Are they going to come out and kill me or something? I don't even... Okay, well, you know what? Let me try and just kill him with the tech suit. <laughs> really? Oh my god, that was epic. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let me hit him. Uh, oh, I missed. Damn it, I thought that would hit him. All right, hang on. Right there. I think I hit him. Oh my god, there's Microraptors. Wow, yeah. I can play like football with these dudes. Should I just run into these guys? Let's try it. Boom! Wow, this tech suit is going to make it so ridiculously good. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's get up there. I really just want to explore. I'm so sorry, but like, I, I just want to see some of this stuff. I've been holding off, checking out quite a lot of it, like in, you know, survival mode. So let's see. I want to get up to one of these towers and see if you can actually like stand inside of them and whatnot. So um, yeah, we've got two sides to this trench. I think this is the lowlands over here and that might be the higher lands or whatever. I don't know what they're called exactly, but it's something like that. What is that? Is that like a jump pad? Hang on, we'll check that out after. Um, okay, let's get up here real quick. Here's a nice little trick. Uh, if you go ahead and like do the power punch and then pull out your map, you can actually fly a little bit higher. <laughs> It's kind of a weird little trick, but it works when you don't mess up your thing. There we go. All right, let's get up here. Should be good. Almost. Almost there. Come on. Getting real close. <gasps> what is up here? Any explore notes or anything? Dude, this is cool. So here's my thing, right? Extinction was a cool map. Don't get me wrong, but the buildings, you couldn't go in them and they were just kind of there. It was just a bunch of structures and... There was doorways, but you just couldn't go in. This is cool. This is polished. Like there's no like jagged edges or anything like that. It, it's very well detailed considering the scale of everything. God damn, this is so cool. Um, All right, I wanna check out that tower over there too. This is just the exploration video. Um, That could be a really nice spot for like a main hub if you had like a big server with a bunch of people on it. I mean, provided that you can build on it, I don't even know if you can. I have heard from, obviously, the Arc devs previously to this DLC coming out. They kept saying that pretty much all of the area was buildable. So I imagine that we probably could build up there. Um, so yeah, this is interesting looking. Let's get down to this level. Oh my god. I can have my own little Jedi Council meeting in here. This like legitimately kind of looks like that room. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's do some stuff. All right, let's uh, let's go over here to whatever this area is called. Is this like the Highlands or the Lone? I don't even know what it's called. I'm so sorry. All right, let's uh, let's try and get some stuff done. So what did I need for a spear? I needed a little bit of fiber. So let's go ahead and get some of that done. All righty. So we've got lots of things to check out in the series. A whole roster of new creatures, of course, but also tons of really cool missions i'm very excited for a lot of them because i think they kind of realized not a lot of people loved the missions in genesis part one um i thought they were cool i thought some of them were a little bit repetitive and some of them were just not that great but um you know what i definitely think that they took a lot of our criticism into account when they were making this one because pretty much all those missions actually relate to the story with, I mean, you probably realized at the very start of the video when Helena was kind of explaining it, but with every single mission, we we slowly take away Rockwell's control of this. I almost called it an arc again. Wow. We slowly take away Rockwell's control of this vessel. Hello. Oh, dude, that's a 174. Oh, by the way, settings and everything. Uh, I'll try and leave a dock down below probably in about a day or so. So if you want to check it out, come back. Uh, max level 180, of course. Um, so that was a 174, dude. That was... That was a really good one. I'd love to tame it. Um, I can't really kill many things around here. I mean, I could probably have killed that Parasaur. Oh, wait, no, I, I have access to Bolas. Yes, let's go ahead and do it. All right, we actually need to learn some more stuff anyways, so. Um, oh, the neck gun as well. I can't wait to check that out. Oh my God, there's so many things. Canoe! Oh, we need to make one of those right now. Okay, I'm making that. As soon as we kill the Parasaur, um, then we'll go ahead and make a canoe. Let me go ahead and learn some goodies here. Um, 
Anything else that needs to be learned? I mean, probably just learn some of this other stuff for the moment. All right, so let's see. Let's make a couple bolas, and then can we make a... Let's try and make a bow as well, and just kind of get some of the basics down. Even though we have a tech suit and we could do a lot of damage, I... Is it really worth actually making a bow? Would it be? I, I don't actually even know. You know what? Maybe we'll just make bolas and then punch things. If they're not going to fight me back, then we can easily kill them, right? I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. All right, where's that power sword then? Let's go punch his face to death. Um, <laughs> oh my God, look at you. So this isn't our power sword. Um, that's a very way weird way of like naming them. I don't know why they named them like R, like... I mean, I know Rockwell, obviously, or maybe it could also relate to reality, but it's probably Rockwell. But at the same time, it's just very odd to say. Like, the R Giga, the R Parasaur, I don't know. It just doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well as uh, X creatures did. Like, X Allosaurus, X Rex, you know, that type of stuff. I kind of like those names, but you know what? They named it R, so I guess we're going we're gonna to have to call it that. Um, let me see. Let's get some berries eaten and let's not potentially eat these. Um, <laughs> sometimes I accidentally spam berries and then accidentally eat a bunch of bad ones. So there we go. And that should be good for the moment. Let's actually make a campfire if we have enough stone. Let's quickly grab some stone. So yeah, uh, that's a really easy way of killing things then. Just using the tech suit with some bolas. You can get easy hide at the very start. I mean, you have a weapon in your fist capable of uh, taking on big creatures like that. So if you can make yourself a bola, then go ahead and do it. We need to make this though, for sure. Uh, we are a little ways away from doing that though. So can I make this? I mean, you know what? Let's grab the rest of the stone that we need for that and quickly get it made. Come on. I think we need like 30 or something. Let's just keep grabbing it though. Get a little bit of metal as we go. Um, okay, mortar and pestle coming. Sleeping bag's probably not very necessary for the moment i mean to be honest dying won't really be too much of an issue if you can spawn in the same area because you could just fly back to your stuff god damn this this dlc is going to be a real like shake up from normal arc i mean like yeah i, I don't even it's going to be so strange it really is i'm very excited all right um let's see what was i going to do i was going to try and make a canoe so let's quickly grab that and put that onto the bar and we need a lot of fiber so let's get that going uh, we might not actually be able to carry all this stuff and normally walk around, but if you go ahead and use the little speed run, if you're completely uh, overburdened with your tech suit, you can actually go ahead and move using that. Uh, or I guess if you drop off a height, you can actually just like fly around with the tech suit as well. Um, so yeah, we need a little bit more fiber here. We can quickly eat all these berries though. That's not going to be an issue. Oh, you know what? One thing that's really exciting is that they actually finally added a new tier of canteen, or I guess water vessel. Um, so it's the tech canteen, which is going to be really interesting. I can't wait to get one of those. I don't know if you need to, how, where would that be? Uh, hmm. It's probably this, I think. Really? Level 101? Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's grab some more of this stuff then. So, um, ah, dude, what else do I need for this? Uh, we need... A good amount of thatch and then some wood. So let's get over here. So we're doing our little speed run right now, but it's not going to shoot me along because I'm overburdened. Uh, let's grab some thatch. We need a lot of it. And we'll probably get most of the wood that we need. Thank you, Diplo. I wasn't done with that tree, though. Um, let's, let's move over here. These trees are actually really nice. Uh, these are new models of trees, uh, which is very surprising. Seriously? Can you go away? Hello, Helena. Ready okay. for adventure? Let's grab, let's grab some more thatch before the stiplo comes in and scoots me along all right uh let's go for these trees over here <laughs> okay almost there almost okay we're, we're here okay how close is the diplo oh my god it's like freaking slenderman or something all right we got just a little bit more so maybe this tree over here and then we should be good to go i want to use this canoe in that little lake over there i think that's going to be pretty cool so uh, obviously the canoe is like a three-person vehicle, but you can use it as one person as well. So hopefully it still moves around pretty fast. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, I guess it's kind of like a portable like raft because you can actually pick it back up. It's not going to be as good as a raft because you can't place things on it, but I don't know. I still think that's pretty cool. Storage reduces spoil timer as well. That sounds interesting. Wow, it actually doesn't weigh very much as well. Only 15? Damn. All right, uh, let's eat up all these berries. And you know what? I'm going to actually now pump into weight because we're going to clearly be needing it. Uh, let's see. Let me just eat the rest of these real quick. 
And good. All right. So there's a lake over here, right? Oh, wow. It's much further than I thought. Okay. Let's get all the way over here and test out this little canoe. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Honestly, like, oh, there's our little uh, pad thingy. Okay, cool. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited. Like, they have so much stuff in this DLC that just is going to make Ark better in general. But also, like, just the map is, like, perfectly suited towards any Ark player. You know, you've got, like, islandy kind of areas like this. Like, you know, big open plains, like rivers and stuff. And then you have, like, uh, you know, aberration-y almost kind of areas as well. Um, I don't know. I think it's really interesting. So here's the canoe. This is my first time trying it. Uh, let's see. So just forward. And do I have to switch sides? Or Okay, it does it by itself. Okay. Dude, this is pretty cool. I like it, actually. Uh, how do I steer? Oh, dude, that is, that is difficult to kind of... Yeah, that's, like, a little bit difficult to turn. Especially if you're going fast. So, um, it turns very, very slowly and almost kind of sharply as well at the same time. I like it. I really do. I need to get some friends. <laughs> I need to get two friends. Take them out a little boating trip up a river or something. This is awesome, though. I love this so much. Okay. Well, now that we're over here, uh, let's stop over on this little island here and pick up the canoe. I actually, I haven't tested this out either, so let's see what it's like. Uh, let's kind of like beach it a little bit. Oh, wait, what did that say? Uh, oh, you can actually beach it. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. Cool. So you can just pretty much just bring it all the way over. Oh, and you can also... Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, I didn't even realize I could be in a different spot. It just said rear, I think, when I mounted. But you can actually be in the center or the front, maybe? Yeah, there we go. It's kind of weird when you're trying to actually access it, though. But I guess you can probably just... Yeah, look, you can access it through here. So that's pretty cool. Let's pick up the canoe. Uh, did it get damaged at all? No, it's got like almost like a little health health bar thing there and it does have health. So I imagine if it gets attacked, then that's how it will lose some of that health. Um, so we've got a couple little guys here causing some trouble for these little Lystros. And um, oh, that's apparently terrible. There we go. Uh, let's get these dudes killed. So unfortunately, these are not the uh, biome specific ones. Uh, those types of Delos are over on the other ring. This, of course, is the Eden biome where it's safe and there is little to no Rockwell. Um, all right, let's just punch it. <laughs> so much easier. Oh, man. All right, let's hack you up real quick. Awesome. You know, one thing I do have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed about, and this is like, it's not even something that I probably should be disappointed about, but I was kind of hoping that this tech armor would have some different functions, considering it's very different from the other armor. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm just being greedy yet again. I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Like a bubble shield would be cool or, you know, invisibility or something. Ooh, is that an explore note there? Another journal entry from the ship's database. Huh. I wonder who logged this one. Ooh. Huh. This is cool. This is an interesting looking explore note. Yeah, that, uh, that's really cool looking, actually. What is that little package that it's in? That's awesome looking. I don't know why. That just looks really cool. Damn. I thought it was like a weird corrupt thing because of all the purple, but uh, yeah. So here's the mission terminal. Um, I think there's a couple of these around. So we can actually go ahead and check out all the missions here. So how many do we have in total? This is a lot. I mean, do I really want to count them all? It looks like a lot. It's probably like 20 or something like that. Um, damn. Yeah, this is all its all going to be really interesting. So I, I'm going to just imagine that these missions are going to be a lot more fun than the missions on, <laughs> on Genesis Part 1. Uh, people probably aren't going to think very highly of those ones after we play some of these. Oh, dude, I could do the Space Dolphins one. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? Another time. Another time. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> What else should we do? Let's let's continue actually trying to get things done because like I said, this is a series and I should really try and get the bare minimum done in this video. It is episode one. Um, we should probably try and tame a horse for the next episode because that would definitely be a pretty easy to get but also super useful starter tame. Let's quickly just hack up all these compies. Um, I think I only killed three, right? Pretty sure it was just three of them. Can we pick up the lily pads? Is that a thing? Uh, no, you can't. All right, we got another Dillo here. Oh, really? You freaking auto-aiming me like that? Boom. And 
punch you in the face and power punch and power punch and oh my god there's two of them okay he's coming out of the water boom power punch dude die already okay hang on we gotta power punch him in the face again boom got him all right sweet look at that mad skills right there honestly like this this map is really gonna shake up our quite a lot <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna really want to come away from this map at all, considering the freaking tech suit and free element. Well, not even element. We don't... It's not even free element. It's just lack of element for the tech suit. So, I don't know. That's just awesome. Um, we got a strider over here. Of course, these dudes are pretty dangerous if you annoy them, I would imagine. This one here has the radar on its head and then also the little collection thingy as well. Um which just vacuums up all of the items on the ground. What would happen if I dropped some stuff? Would he pick it up? Probably not, but damn, that looks cool though. All right, so um, let's see. Well, we got a Dodo. Let's at least try and tame something. We got a 174 and a 24. Let's try and tame up this 174 Dodo as like a little starter Dodo. So let me learn a slingshot then. Oh, I've already learned it. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's quickly make one then. Am I blind? Yeah, I am blind. It was right there all along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's embarrassing okay well, there we go and we do we have much stone we have 30 okay that's gonna be enough sweet and we have a bunch of magic berries too hell yeah look at this freaking almost max level dodo this is huge guys so, like you, you don't see this type of riveting gameplay anywhere else so that's why you should hit the notification bell on the channel is something attacking oh wow yeah boom oh i almost hit my dodo no you almost made me kill my favorite dodo. Oh, we can actually go ahead and check its uh, health. Or, yeah, and also torpor. Come on, buddy. Get knocked out. Come on. I don't want to kill you. No! <laughs> I should have known that was going to happen, to be honest. All right. Unfortunately, I think I might have accidentally power punched it. So let's just uh, cut that bit out and pretend that didn't happen. Um, I was never going to tame up a dodo. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's see. Um, so we got another dodo over here. Should I just tame this one instead? Oh my god, actually, that's a 168. Yeah, I guess we will tame you. What level is this one, though? Uh, it's only a 114. We'll kill that one after. All right, let me see. Um, let's try and get this thing tamed up. So Helena, of course, works on here, too, uh, which is awesome. I really like that, actually. Really like using Helena on the Genesis simulation. So having her in the real world here in this map as well is just amazing. Here we go. Come on. Uh, we don't have very many hits that we could do. How close are you? Ah, uh, you're not gonna get there, are you? Come on. You need to go down, buddy. Okay, I'm just gonna have to punch him then. How close are you? You're super close. There, we did it! Okay, amazing. All right, here you go. There's a bunch of berries and we'll get you all teamed up. Oh, man. All right. Um, oh, we need a foundation for that. I'm too used to playing S+. Um, okay, here we go. Let's get that and then let's get this, this uh, mortar and pestle placed. Okay, so the dodo is taming up, guys. We've secured the package. Oh, the dodo. The best shelter. Okay, really, Helena? I don't need to. You don't need to say it like that, okay? I've made many shelters before. You and I are gonna have a, a little rocky relationship on this simulation. <laughs> it's not even a simulation. Damn it! I meant map. I was thinking about the simulation. She sounded different in there. Um. <laughs> so if you guys actually didn't realize, they changed the voice actress for Helena, which is. You know what? I'm, I'm not mad about it. It's just, it's very different. It really sounds very, very different. Um, although, you know, this is the same girl who's going to be playing her in the animated show. So, of course, they're going to have them line up like that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's try and get some more stuff here. Is this a rock you can pick up? Wow, that was a big rock. Okay, let's quickly just grab a bunch of stone here. Maybe hit up this rock here and get all of this stuff going. Oh, man. Okay, I should probably actually still go for the, um, the old freaking bow and arrow. Yeah. We can't go for a tech bow just yet, so we should probably do that. We're gonna need a little bit of fiber, and we got more compies on us right now. Great. Wait, can you... Does this give you resources? Oh, it does, actually. Okay, I wasn't sure there for a second. Okay, let's get that in, and a bunch of that, and there we go. Okay, can you... Do you really have to go near my shelter? Thank you. Okay, and then we got some more over here. You guys all get a punch to the face. I mean, there you go. Enjoy. There's one more. There you are. Come on. Dude, that's insane. I can't believe we actually spawn in with this stuff. This is ridiculous. Seriously, there's more of you? If I had Prime, I'd tame you, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Compies. 
Be gone. We got this one here. He's flying for some reason. Okay. Let's see. So, Dodo, are you almost tamed? Come on. Hurry up, buddy. Hurry up before Rockwell comes and finds us. Okay, here you go. And let's get that going. All right. Uh, oh, I needed a, a little bit of fiber. And actually, I'm going to need a lot of fiber. So, we're going to have to make up a bunch of arrows after this as well. Let's just go ahead and grab a bunch of this stuff. You know what? A moss chops would be great, but I don't think I've seen any of them. I, I'm not capable of actually picking up. There we go. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. Um, we can go ahead and uh, and turn this on. Oh, that is so handy. Really? <laughs> we have all these insane abilities all at the very start. Oh my God. This DLC, man, this is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. All right, let's see. Let's try and get some more of this stuff done. I'm curious if there's any carrots anywhere. I did see that horse over there, by the way, but I don't know if there's any carrots anywhere. That would be great if we could find some. I just don't know if there's gonna be any because you don't really get it on too many maps. I think the only maps that you really have it on are like the uh, the non-official like story maps as in like Ragnarok and, and Valkyro and stuff like that. I don't know if there's any on Crystal Isles. I actually can't remember if I ever saw any over there, but you know what I mean. We just don't have it on any of these story maps and it really would be great to just be able to find wild carrots and stuff. So um, here we go. We have our Dodo, kind of just the most amazing epic achievement for episode one. Uh, like I said, you don't find this type of gameplay anywhere else. Nobody's progressed more than I have so far in this episode. All right. <laughs> There's all this gloating for no reason. It literally, it earns me nothing. <laughs> okay, here you go. A little bit of stuff going there. Um, did I get enough stuff for the bow? Probably did, but then I don't have any wood left because I just chucked it all into the fire. Okay, let's get a bunch of that then. Oh, man. Boom, and then we need a crap ton of arrows. Oh my god. You know what? We're probably already basically... Oh, is that seriously a rock I can pick up? No, it's not, is it? Oh, we just... We can't... Mi oh my god, you can pick that up? That was a massive rock. That looked like something that would be minimal. Minimal. Wow, words. Uh, you know, I have been up for quite a long time. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. All right, let's see. Let's try and get at least a couple arrows done here today. And like I said, we're probably not really going to need them too much for things that aren't going to be super, you know, mean to me. But at the same time, it's really handy to just have them anyway. Because eventually we're going to have a crossbow. And I say eventually, but we're already at the level now where we could actually do all of this stuff. So yeah, honestly, like I, I haven't pumped up XP rates or anything on here. Usually I try to keep that as just like vanilla and on here I did. So that's cool. <laughs> just already level 28. Just without really doing anything. Love it. I really do. Okay, let's uh, let's get some more flint here then. It is kind of getting a little bit dark, but fear not. I oh, it's the yeah. They changed the button. It's now if you hold down R, it will actually bring up the uh, the little um, tech suit thingy. So there we go. Now it's gonna be nighttime. We have night vision mode. Like this is ridiculously cool. I love this. I really do. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video. I'm probably going to count when I'm editing. But like, god damn, it's so cool. It really is. Oh, my god. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else I'm going to really desperately need? Probably some gunpowder eventually. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything else that we're going to need besides, like, the, you know, necessities down here. Maywing Saddle is only level 19, so that's obviously going to be our first tame, if anything. So I don't actually know how to tame it. I imagine it's probably just a knockout tame, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna figure it out. So if you guys have any tips, let me know down below. Um, Equa Saddle, let's go ahead and learn that because we're obviously gonna be getting one of those guys too. And when I said first tame, I meant like first, uh, you know, DLC tame. Um, okay, so Trank Arrows. Parachute's not necessary at all on here. Wow, okay. <laughs> There's just so much good stuff that we can just get immediately. Look at all of this. This is insane. It really is. Okay, we need to find crystal. That is one thing. All right, let's see. So can we at least uh, get going with some of the stuff? We could probably try to make the forge. We're not too, too far off making that. We just need a good amount of stone and then we can get that going. This is probably like the most I've ever progressed in a DLC episode one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Those things are so freaky. They sound so cool, um, but scary. I don't know why, I'm just kind of afraid of them. I know that they're not like, you know, aggressive or anything like that, but still, they're just, uh, they're just really big. 
Wait, it's not aggressive, right? It almost looked like it was targeting me there. I don't know why. I just kind of felt that way. Let me see. We're about to break this too. Wow, all my stuff is breaking. Okay, let's try and get some more of this stone then. Any on the ground that we can pick up? No, not really. Okay, oh, a little bit more there. Okay, let's see. Let's grab this forge and put it onto the bar. Uh, we're super close to being able to craft this thing. There we go, lovely. Let's grab a little bit more stone because I know I'm gonna need it for the smithy. And speaking of smithy, we should almost have enough for it actually. Although I think actually we, we do right because we had oh yeah yeah perfect we have enough ingots so we can go ahead and make the smithy and then also a uh a pickaxe once we have all that smelted so let's get over here let's try and get this done then um here we go let's go ahead and replace the ingram and a boom and a little bit of wood into there oh i don't know why i tried to put flint into there there we go sweet so how much do i need for the smithy then and put that there so we are we already have all the hide we're like really good on hide right now we just need a little bit more stone and a little bit more wood even though i know i put a bunch into the uh into the forge it's fine we'll just let all that burn out we're gonna need charcoal anyway so let's see let's get up here and you know what i'm gonna turn off the night mode because it's kind of i don't know i feel like people probably aren't enjoying it very much wow this is is this nighttime what dude it's super bright I'm not even gamma. This is gamma. That's not gamma. This is like normal gamma 2 or whatever. This is insane. It's probably going to show up a little bit darker on the video because that's just, you know, how YouTube works. It just darkens all my footage anyway, but that's really cool. I mean, I guess we have space lighting up the uh, <laughs> the map, but like that is awesome. I I really like that. I, I like nighttime and arc, but sometimes it's a little bit too dark, so... It's interesting to, to see nighttime where it's not actually that dark and you don't really have to use gamma at all. Oh my god, this map so far, like, I've barely scratched the surface, like, literally. And we have so much to do, but, like, I've, I'm already in love. Wild card, well done. Like, I'm okay with the delays now, okay? It was frustrating waiting, but you know what? It's fine. We got it now. And I forgive you for the delays considering all of these awesome things that we're discovering here in this video. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up and smelt for me. We just need two more. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves this uh, this thing and then the pickaxe as well. Come on, any second now. I'm getting ready to hit T. I'm hitting T, I'm spamming it. Oh, it, okay, great. Of course, yeah, the metal does go to there instead. That was embarrassing. Okay, let's get this crafted. And by the time that's done, we should have enough for this pickaxe. So here we go. Let's get that down right here beside our dodo. And wow. Okay, let's get ready. Boom. See that? Mad skill. That was super fast. Nobody can transfer metal and gets into their inventory faster than I can. You won't see that anywhere else. Like, that's what I keep saying, you know? <laughs> All right, so sweet. We're already up to the metal tier. Look at this. Oh, my God. Come on, give me some more metal. So here's one thing. Um, I don't actually know if I've seen a metal node so far. All the rocks look very different on here, which is great. I love that. It almost looks as if they're using some new assets, although some of them almost kind of look a little bit like at, uh, Atlas assets. Uh, so like the rocks and stuff and trees and everything in Atlas are so much better looking than Ark. So if they are using those, I'm okay with it because they're beautiful. But, uh, oh, oh, <gasps> we're, we're jumping. Oh my God, this is awesome. Damn, this is so cool. Look at this sky. Oh, I actually haven't experienced this yet. And if I have, then I wasn't paying attention because this is beautiful. So, um, the ship will like periodically jump like this. And in the middle between the two rings, I think you can get into it over in that direction. There's like a little void of like space with a bunch of asteroids and stuff. And there's eight different asteroid biomes that can basically be there. So when you go to that area, it's going to be w one of eight different uh, layouts or whatever like that. So I don't think you're allowed to build there. I mean, if you can, then your base is going to disappear probably. Um, but yeah, that is that is so cool looking. Holy crap. I love it. I really do. Okay, let's see. Um... So we're starving and we're cold, but that's okay. We've got fire and we've got Dodo to eat. Except probably won't. We'll just go ahead and put him right there. What should we name the Dodo? Let me know down below. Seriously, you're walking back into the way. 
I moved you out of the way for a reason, Dodo. We're already off to a rocky relationship, much like my relationship so far with HLNA. Here we go. Let's get that onto the bar. No, do not mean to swap that to there. And okay, yeah, I'm just messing everything up. There we go. Amazing. Okay. Let's, uh, let's eat up some of this meat. Where is my campfire? I thought that was it. I don't know why. Here it is, right? There we go. Sweet. What? Really? You're just like walking all over me? Okay. Let's see. Let's pop these guys into here and grab that and grab that and... We need some wood for that, because it doesn't really light up the area. The forge doesn't. Okay, let's pop that in there. Light that up. Sweet. Okay. Oh, have we completely traveled yet? Wow, we're still going. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, you know what? I think we're pretty much at the end of this episode. I don't want to make this first episode, like, too, too long, because, you know, we've got a lot of plans. We've got a lot of stuff that we want to do on here. But, guys... That is going to be it for today. So if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let me know, what is your favorite thing about this map? Because I've named out a couple things I really like, but uh, let me know what your favorite thing is down below. And uh, of course, episode two will probably, I'll, I'll try and get another one up today because I believe this video is going out probably tomorrow for me. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'll try and get another episode up later on today. So hit the notification bell and all that good stuff for that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.